So we're not going to collect scat, we're not going to collect um, living things, but we are going to collect things that came from living things. And let's put the camera in the case for now. I'm having a little trouble. Probably this strap right here. This one? Yeah. Okay. Are you ready to go on a scavenger hunt? Yeah! Uh, I believe that the focus is to get kids outside enjoying nature and being part of this wonderful um, outdoor environment that we have to offer them. Uh, getting them on snowshoes sometimes for the first time and, uh, and just getting them to open their eyes and look around them. You already have one of A helicopter? What did you girls find? A dog track. The track right here, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, here so to here. It's about. It's, oh. It's right here. Oh. <laughs> about seven and a half. Good. <laughs> they were looking for um, animal tracks and scat and uh, some natural materials so it uh, connects them with the environment. That's some pretty good scat, actually. I'm going to be about a foot away from the picture. We're in macro mode, so you're going to take some nice close-ups. And you're going to make a little collage over here that you're going to take a picture of. And next week, we're going to download them to a computer, and we're going to print them out so that you each have a souvenir from your trips to Barn Beach. Anna, look at what I found. It looks like something that was burnt. I don't know if that's natural. I don't know either. It looks like it fell from a tree. Or... It could have, but just to be safe, let's try and find something else natural. I sort of like that one, don't you? Yeah. Good scientists, they're keeping that data and, uh, and, and writing down everything because, you know, we're human and we forget things. And so if they write all that down, then they can um, take that information back to the office if they were to become a scientist. That would be fantastic.